Today I will show you how to flash an Android phone. So step number one, go to my website www.resetsolutions.webs.com to access the downloads page. Right now I only have few of it. So step number one, download the Odin file. Once it's downloaded, you have to extract the contents and put it somewhere. I prefer to put it on the desktop but use a folder to keep it organized. Step number two is to download the ROM file for the Galaxy Y Young. Again, you have to extract the contents and uh, preferably on the desktop and put it in a folder to keep it organized. So once you've done that, your Odin file will contain two files and your Samsung Galaxy Y file will give you five additional files so what you have to do is to double click the Odin launcher once it's there get your phone then press down home and power hold it until you see the custom OS screen so once there you have to press volume up to continue the process and now you have the custom bin section and here you have the Android icon and the downloading message then you have to get your USB cable the other end of this is already attached to the computer insert it to the USB slot of your phone and you should see a message right here it says 0 0.3 now this may vary from uh, computer to computer but you have to see something here once you see that you can set your phone aside and let's start looking for the files first let's use the PIT so click the PIT button and then you have to browse for the PIT file found uh, on the folder where you extracted the contents of the Samsung Galaxy Y Young ROM so in this case this is it so click that one and open next is the BL some versions have bootloader in here so press that one and then again in the same folder select for a file that contains boot in its file name so this one and then open next the AP for some version it says PDA so click that one and select the PDA file next the CP for some uh, some versions it contains a phone so click that one and you select the one with the modem in its file name and then open and finally the CSC click that one and you'll see here the GTS 5360 multi CSC so click that one and then you press open so once you've completed the correct uh, files here you press start and once you do that you will see messages flash here and on your phone you will see a progress bar slowly moving to the right and here you still have the messages and you have to wait until everything is done so for now let's wait and see what happens next Okay, it's almost done there so you see we now have the reset message here in the phone automatically restarts and let's wait for it to finish everything up so you might see here a message about a new hardware uh, found by your computer you can just uh, press next and leave it there Meanwhile, let's go back to your Odin file and let's wait for the phone to con uh, totally reboot itself. There, now you can see the logo of the Samsung. It's 
almost done so let's just wait for it to load Okay, now once you see this screen, you can remove the USB from your phone and you can close the Odin program. Now let's go to the phone. You have to press the Android. If you want, you can change the language settings also. In this case, I will leave it as is. Touch the Android logo. And then do you the usual stuff it's setting your phone in this case connect to Wi-Fi I want to skip this part and Google location I will just press next for the time I will just click on the check mark for the automatic use of network provided values and then next and that's it it's done you now have your phone flashed with the original operating system for it and i hope that solved your problem thank you for watching and uh, see you again